Hey everybody, so I was waiting on the oven to get the 350. I just wanted to show you that I really enjoy these Bread Dudes. That's the name of the company. Cheese stuffed breadsticks with real mozzarella with Parmesan cheese, garlic, and sea salt. Um, all you do is simply open up the package. You preheat your oven at 350. Open up one end. Excuse me, I gotta do it with two hands. Open up one end of the package. And that is what the actual, I'll put it back in the package, but that's what it looks like, um, the breadstick. But they are so good. They take eight minutes literally to cook. So, I mean, you just put it on a baking sheet. You put, and so I've got one each for the boys, and I'm getting ready to put this in the oven and let it cook for the eight minutes. And when it comes out, we will enjoy it, or they will enjoy it with just some like marinara sauce or pizza sauce sometimes I use or tomato sauce. So um, again, this is the Bread Dude Company cheese stuff breadsticks with real mozzarella, Parmesan cheese, garlic, and sea salt, and they are delicious. And you keep them frozen so you're ready to open them up and put them in the oven. So this is what they look like when you take them out the wrapper. See that cheese, nice and gooey. Yep, and they're easy to make. My son even took these out, so I trust them pretty much open in the oven, the oldest. But these are really good, y'all. They just taste so fresh and like, I don't know, they're good. All right, y'all, take care. Hey, hey, hey. Now, I'm here at the Dollar Tree, and I'm looking at Snaps brand. Finely chopped mushrooms and mozzarella cheese in a golden brown shell. Does that sound good to y'all? I don't know why it doesn't sound good to me. But anyway, it's made with Wisconsin cheese. And who knows? It just might surprise me, right? Then they got the Snaps cream cheese pepper bites. I've tried these before. It's been a long time. But I thought they were good. They had a little bit of zest to them. A little bit of spice coming from the jalapeno. And then all the way back there are those loaded potato sticks. And those were definitely good when I had those. I do enjoy the Snaps mozzarella sticks, I can tell you that. But mushroom and cheese bites, that's definitely new to me seeing that. And I'm just wondering how good would that taste. I wonder actually what type of mushrooms it is. And it doesn't say on the back, it just still says mushrooms. So if you've tried them, let me know. So while I'm in here stacking up on my products like um, styrofoam bowls, etc. I see that they have the Kashi Heart to Heart Oat Cereals. They're organic honey toasted. These are 1.4 ounce the little small boxes, but it comes in a four pack, which is really good. Cause I swear I remember when I was in Delaware, they broke these open and were selling them for a dollar a piece. So maybe they were a little bit cheaper than a dollar a piece. Um, I didn't buy any. I just, I know they weren't in a four pack like this. So if you like Kashi or you want to try it out, definitely come to the Dollar Tree and pick up one of these four packs so you can see how you like it. It's a honey toasted cereal. You may want to compare it to like the Golden Foods Honey Nut Toasted Oats or even these Honey Nut Cheerios. And the Reese's Puffs is new to me at the DT in terms of these like three ounce size packages. That in particular is a 3.4 ounce. All of these, whether it's the Honey Nut Cheerios, the Frosted Flakes, the Apple Jacks, or the Fruit Loops, they all average around 3 ounces. They're like 3.5 or 3.1 ounces. Um, but the Reese's Puff, like I said, stands out to me as being a newer cereal in these type of packaging. So, um, you, you got your Kashi there. Then you also have the Golden Foods brand that come in these little um, smaller boxes. Crunchy King and Berries, Apple Bits, Sugar Flakes, Fruit Rings, and the Cocoa Balls. It's a great way to try these to see if you feel they're comparable to the name brand cereals. Last time I saw these performance socks at the Dollar Tree, the low cut socks, I only saw the purple and pink ones for the woman. These are for men, they're size six to 12. They you only get one pair, they're low cut socks. But y'all, the quality of these socks, they can't be beat. These are a great quality. I mentioned it before usually I buy these type of socks from like the wholesale clubs and their Puma brand um, you may get more for the price but if you want a great quality sock you've got to feel these this performance low-cut sock is really good
Okay, y'all. Y'all know when it comes to books, I wait for no man. They had these two boxes sitting over here. Books that needed to be opened. So I went through these. And let me show you what I found. These are the interesting books I found. So, Walter Potter's Curious World of Taxidermy by Dr. Pat Morris with Joanna Ebenstein or Ebenstein. Very interesting book. It is originally priced $22.95. So, welcome to a fantasy world of rabbit school children, cigar smoking squirrels, and exemplary feline etiquette in Walter Potter's Curious World of Taxidermy. Seems like an interesting book. I actually thought at first that it was all about, yeah, it is. It, oh, it is what I thought. It started to come across when I was reading the back like it almost might have been a novel, but no. So, very interesting. If you are, uh, if you have an interest in taxidermy, this is at the Dollar Tree. Don't hesitate to come looking for it. I'll make sure I put that up. Put it back in the box. But, then I saw this cute book. Super amazing. 100% awesome. The best cat book ever by Kate Funk with AC the Cat. Oh my gosh. Okay, are y'all peeping this? all these pictures of this cat dressed up different ways so if you're a cat lover you'll probably definitely love this so that there that's pretty cute can't see the price on that one but yeah a unicorn a lumberjack the abominable snowman and a ninja they have dressed up ac the cat as another book youtube's number one fitness instructor and creator of Blog, what is this called? Blogilates.com. Cassie holds hot body year round. The Pop Pilates plan to get slim, eat clean, and live happy through every season. So that's a book for working out. So some definite Pilates moves and recipes in there. Check that out. I've also seen recipes. So maybe, I mean, for a dollar, that's not bad at all. Next book I found is Building with Secondhand Stuff. How to Reclaim, Revamp, Repurpose, and Reuse Salvaged and Leftover Building Materials by Chris Peterson. Um, that price is covered up. I probably could have moved it to see how much it costs. You know, these books can be pretty pricey. Salvage and save. Even if you get these books from like Home Depot or Lowe's, they're going to run you about $20. Um, oh, I don't want that to fall. Uh-oh, it did fall. But just to give you a little look-see, it shows you how to um, salvage like wood, reclaim wood. This book was very interesting. My mother had doors in her house, wood doors like that in her house. I just saw that picture. How to reclaim stone materials, salvage old metal. So this definitely, if you're redoing a home, I mean, how to even redo wood floors. At the dollar store, y'all, that is a great buy. This before, these are called beer bands, like B-E-E-R, beer bands. They're made out of silicone. They say chatty, quirky, clumsy, adventurous, emotional, cheerful. And do you wrap these around your beer so you know which beer is yours? Pretty cute. How good do these look? Betty Crocker Limited Edition Chocolate Hazelnut Cream Cookie Mix. And then they have Cranberry White Chip Cookie Mix. With real cranberries. That looks good. See, this... We need to stay out the Dollar Tree. So they have some really nice yarn. This is called... Um, Patton's Cobbles. Look at that. And it says go to yarnspirations.com but this is 41 yards of yarn. Look at this. It, wouldn't that be cute for a baby blanket? So yeah, to knit a blanket it says 5 balls um, 5 milliliters long a beautiful color oh my gosh can't you see that beautiful blanket and then look at this one as well the burnett dazzle that's a beautiful silver with that little string of metallic in there and let me show you this one that's a pretty blue patent shetland chunky 
that is 25% wool, 75% acrylic. Um, it says 148 yards. And then they have this black down here. The Burnett Maker Fashion. Uh, let's see. Garter Stitch. I was trying to see how much it was. Number 5 bulky. And that is 126 yards here. But this is really nice yarn. So if you knit... I mean, come on, you... And I'm loving this, though. Like, wouldn't it be awesome if you could actually make a, a scarf like that? So, beautiful. He's just getting these. Let the adventure begin. I've been seeing you all haul these beautiful candles from the Rose Collection New York. This is supposed to be a scent of exotic blooms. Mm, I just, in particular, the New York collection never had any throw once it was lit for me. And then Easter coming up, look at these crosses. Do these move? No, they don't move. I thought maybe that might have spun. Red, white, that beautiful teal, blue, bluish green, and then the gray. Gray. Very nice decor of the crosses, and they just they're wooden and they sit there. So, I picked some of this up from the Dollar Tree the other day, and I haven't actually popped open the package to use it. But since I'm back in the DT, I figured I'd show it to you. They have four regular rolls of Angel Soft in a fresh lavender scent, it has a scented tube. See that there. And they smell really good. They smell really good even through the package. And that's the only reason why I grabbed this. Because I wanted to smell that lavender. Um, but they, they have a great scent. So I wonder if, you know, this is a good seller for them. This scent in lavender smells really nice. Like sometimes lavender is not, um, in particular, the best scent I like. When it comes to like candles and some other things. But two things of lavender I have liked have been the Suavitel that comes in lavender. Lavender, excuse me, and this Angel Soft, that lavender scent, uh, scented tube, that smells really good.